Hey guys, it's Queen Asia, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 5 and 6 of Crest of the Stars. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 and 3, 2, 1, go. It's still kind of fucked up on me, but okay. Okay, so one thing I do want to say real quick. Alright, so since Laffy and Junto, they're not gone, they're safe. Something tells me, and I think I said this about like two weeks ago when we reacted to the last two episodes, um, that everybody else on this ship is going to die tonight. It wouldn't surprise me, but you know how like when you can see like <laughs> the signs, quote unquote, um, of possibly when a character, when characters from pretty much anything is going to die. And, and for especially for, like, the captain and her thinking about the things that she thought about last week. And then the preview going into these two episodes, or really specifically episode five, you're really looking like, yeah, I feel like someone's gonna die today. Um... God, don't let me get attached. I'm technically already attached to these characters. <laughs> no, I already cried yesterday at the TV Eternity finale, and I don't want to cry today. I want to laugh even, or just, like, be confused as fuck or <laughs> not cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry today, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 because I hate crying. I get the worst headaches after I cry. Plus, I'm on a time crunch. I gotta get shit done today. It's Tuesday, and I got other things to do. And thank God it's just this and the other show. And that's the shift that's currently coming towards them now, right?
God, this still hurts. And besides, she's only doing this for your safety. And not only that, because you are a princess, but I mean, in a way, these two are the next generation. So after everyone else dies, they have to figure everything out. God, I, I can't even believe I'm speaking like that. But I mean, it's true, though. It's the same thing with several generations, even mine. Well, we dying today. So it was in, in a way almost like a dead planet. It's okay. And something tells me we're going to see that in the future. Like, not now, but maybe like 10, 20 years from now when they're older.
Just four, though? Corners. But still, at the same time, I felt like something bad's gonna happen. Oh, we're only twelve minutes into this episode, and I'm just like, ah. Everything's going good, though. See, I say that now, and then watch something bad's gonna happen. Fuck. Surrounding you. Okay, how many are left? Four.
This is so stressful. Like, my fucking heart. Oh. I know I'm worried for them too. because <laughs> yeah because you know deep down in your heart they're not okay Was it the captain? Oh God, just please let them be okay. We got like, okay, we're at 18. We have six minutes left. Anything and everything can happen in six minutes. Oh. Oh my god. Nope, I can't do this. They're all gonna die. And they just, they know it. Oh my god. But okay, if they die, at least let them die after they get the last ship. Please.
I'm so fucked up. Oh my god. I didn't want to cry today. <laughs> you made me fucking cry today. Oh my god. I had like a little glimmer of fucking hope that they were gonna be fine, but you know, the way, like, you could see how destroyed the ship was, and the fact is that they weren't moving as fast as they were at the beginning of the battle, and the fact is there was only one, one fucking ship left. I have, I, I got too many feelings right now, oh my god. She's literally never going to see them again. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the? What the? Huh? What? Uh, there's no way in hell that they're gonna kill these two. These two are the main characters. They're not gonna die until like years later. To really specifically Junto. Junto ain't dying until years later. Is it? Like no, 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 no. No. But the fact is, you know what? I have to say this, like. The captain and everyone else in this crew, they fought up until the very end. No matter what the cost was. Even with the fact is that, yes, you had people who were in, lo like, uh, in love with others and such. And they're never going to be able to hold hands or anything again because of this. They're all dead now. And this is sad. This is so sad. Oh, God. I don't even know what else to say about this, but it, I mean, it was good. It was good up until, like, just that last little bit. And the fact is that Lafayette is not going to know. Probably someone will tell her, because I feel like maybe later on into the series, so she's going to ask about them. And someone will give an answer, and I think that's when we will really truly see her cry and break down for the first time. Because what I think is, with Lafayette's species, they are the type that don't really show their emotions and such. Only when it comes to like maybe certain occasions or something like that, but it's almost like how they've been taught ever since they were born 
to not show their emotions and not to show their feelings when it comes to certain things. Now, when we go back to like the beginning of this episode, also last week's episode, or really the two weeks episode, because you know, took a break, um, and Ash, and how the captain lashed out at her because of her feelings and it's like that, and she wanted to stay with everyone else and fight. That was her feelings coming out and saying this is that in the third, but I think deep down, like to see her cry or get very hella emotional as like any of us do I think we're not going to see that until later on into this series but like god damn it, 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 it the preview you that preview what the fuck was that preview you, you can't show me that and be like oh okay <laughs> get that to be a thing but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode five I mean not five six my bad oh my god <laughs> Okay, episode six in three, two, one, go. Hmm. <laughs> Just 30? I mean, can't you just stay here for like a couple of days? I know like you have to get there quickly, but jeez.
Yeah. I'm guessing so, I mean, yeah. Oh, God, this is like the situation that's going on in Hollywood. Like, yeah, you find out that people all take showers! It's okay to eat. It just, it's just a little bit. It's fine. about isn't that a little weird though how long is soon something fishy about this place and I mean it's not only because of the preview but you know mm -hmm. It's like he planned this. But see, what if Bada needs you for something? Because, see, he's already acting suspicious to me. So, um...
Maybe. Yeah, I think he would do that. Okay, is Jito going to be able to... Well, of course not! <laughs> oh, her side eye glances are everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit! I told y'all you should have got the fuck out of here. Look what happened! Because I'm guessing the bottom doesn't tell you everything. He seems like that, but then he seems like he's got something else playing up his ass. I don't know what it is, what it could be, but we gotta find out before this episode ends. Okay, here's the other question I'll ask. What the heck is Jean <laughs> See, look at him. He even looking at him. He got a mm, sense of suspicion. What? Mm. 
But then, okay, hold on. If he doesn't enjoy company, then why is Jinto with him? That's still company. I know I am. You was already suspicious from the get-go, dude. Mm-mm. No water. Maybe it's because she don't respect you like that. Excuse me. Look at you was lying out of your ass. Come on, bro. See? <laughs> Boom! So why would you lie? What the hell do you want to talk to her about? Why? And how long is that going to be? You put something in her drink, didn't you? See, you say that, but the ways that you are doing it, I don't like.
Yeah, but would you treat Jean Toe the same way? Probably not, because look at what happened. It's BS. Hey, and you might not ever. I'm just saying. But like, ooh, big ooh, bruh. Okay, so number one, this dude, like, <laughs> the butt on. I don't like him. Mm -mm. How you gonna not have, you gonna have nothing but women, but you ain't gonna have no guys. Guys? At all? Cause see that's like the same thing with like uh, oh my god what's <laughs> it's the last from Doug and Ropa how she wants just to live in a really nice mansion with a whole bunch of guys as her butlers and ish and such but okay I get the reason why he doesn't want to <clears throat> treat Jinto as a nobleman especially with the situation that what his father did. But at the same time, Jinto is a nobleman, so you have to treat him the same way that you treat Laffy. That's a little sexist right there, how you're treating one person good, and then you see this other person, you like, big ol' F you, and such. But, okay, so now that Jinto is knocked out, I don't know where he is on this, you know, I little quote-unquote rust stop, but, um child you need to find him and you need to get the heck up out of here because something just this dude is weird i don't like him gotta go A what shuttle? So, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Is he working with someone else? Bruh. See? <laughs> Another reason not to trust him. <laughs> Another reason not to trust him. Like, oh, no. But honestly, yeah, this is a really good episode. But straight up, like, that preview still gives me, like, some things but nothing at the same time it's more of like what the one thing that i love about like this show and kind of with other shows in general when they give you previews it's just context clues and you're trying to figure everything out before you watch the next two episodes or next episode and ish and they with the <laughs> with them only giving you like this much information it, it's like what could this episode be <laughs> But the biggest thing is, we're going to find out that the fact is that the Bada does not own the shuttle that it belongs to someone else, indicating that he is working with someone else. But it makes you wonder why. And I'm guessing probably because they want Laffy. Because she is a princess and she is such, you know, 
a big royal, but not as big as Jinto, because, you know, he's just a nobleman, but he is still big as well, because you would think, like, let's say, you know, the bottom, like, sold him, sold them both off. He would still get more money for Laffy and not as much money for Jinto, because I felt, like, because the fact is he is a nobleman, but people don't accept him as that. He's gonna go for, like, pretty much half of what she's gonna get. So let's say she's, like, 20 grand. He gonna be, like, 15 to 10. Yeah. Not the greatest. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes 5 and 6 of Crest of the Stars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for Patreons. And next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 7 and 8. Bye, guys.